Hello, my name is Donna and I'm with Wakanda Area Library. Today I will show you how to get into your library account so you can see your contact information, any books that you have checked out, due dates, and how to check on your holds. And you can also see uh, any fines that you have accrued on your account. Let's get started. From our library's main page, walklib.org, click on My Account. Enter in your library card number and then your password. If you can't remember what your card number is or your password, you can click on the forgot keys, either uh, card number, login or password. You can have a reset link sent to your email account that we have on record. Um, or you can contact us via phone, text, or email to have the password reset. When you first log in to your account, the screen will show you your account information. This is where you can edit any changes in how you log in or how we contact you. You will notice that there is an option to create a login, and I will show you how to create this down below. Scrolling down this page, you will see collapsible sections. The first is for messages. You can see there are not any messages here right now. Um, if you make any changes to the account, the, it, will be shown here in the message section. Right below this is contact information. If you click on the triangle arrow, you can expand this section. Here you can edit any information, whether, you know, if, if it's been changed or it's not correct. For example, if the phone number or email has changed, this is where you can make that change. Under the preferences, you can indicate how you would like to be contacted. Currently, you can see that it's set to email. There is also a checkbox if you would like for the account to keep track of the books that you've read. Clicking on this checkbox will enable that list. So let's make this change now. If you make any changes, click on Submit Change Request. Uh, you can see that when I changed to track reading history, that was noted in the messages section. The bottom section is change logon. Here is where you can create a custom username so that you don't have to type in your library card number when you want to log into your account. This is also the section where you can update your password. If you make any changes, please make sure to click the save button at the bottom. The menu screen to the left has the other areas that you can check on in your account. If you click on Items Out, you will see that there is one book. The due date is June 17th, and there's still three renewals left. You can select a single item by clicking on the checkbox, or you can renew them all. Um, we do have automatic renewal, so you don't need to worry too much about checking your items very often to renew them. If you would like more information about auto renewals, you can give us a call at the library. The next section down we will talk about is requests. This is what you have on hold. From here you can see what the status is of the hold. Um, this account has two active holds and one cancel. For the actives, you can see where you are in the waiting list. So for these two that are active, there's not much of a wait. Uh, this It's one out of one, meaning that the next time the book becomes available, um, this account will get that book. The buttons at the bottom of the list will allow you to cancel a hold, meaning that you no longer want the item. Suspending is to enter in a new activation date. So let's say you're going on vacation, you won't be here for a few weeks. So let's uh, suspend the book becoming and put in a future date of July 1st. So now when we go back, you will see that the status has changed to inactive and the date has been updated. When the date of July 1st is the current day, the item will automatically change to active and you will be put back into the holds queue. If you want to change that date, you can go by you can go back into suspend reinstate window and uh, change the date to the current date if you want to make it active or any other future date. 
The last section that I will talk about in your account is the fines and fees. If there's a balance on your account, you can click on the fine note that is below your name or on the fines and fees link a, a couple of lines down. They both will take you to the same place. The window will show you how much the fines are for, when the transaction occurred, and if you want additional information, you can click on the little buy. If you have any questions about this video or other options such as searches and saved searches, please check out our other tutorial videos or give us a call at 847-526-6225 or from our main webpage. You can click on the phone icon in the upper right to live chat or send us a message. Thank you and we'll see you soon.